sweeps and counter plays kind of off of it, right? Uh, we've had 14 plays of, of sweeps. Obviously, you see the numbers there, 62% efficient. Okay, and now we're talking about nine uh, yards per game. Obviously, TFL, no game percentage is a little bit higher in this category uh, because you're combating on, um, you know, the defensive end responding in a certain way, okay? Uh, this is obviously our gap scheme sweeps number, and, and I'll get to it. So, uh, as a defense is sitting there trying to take away your top run or your top scheme, uh, what is going to be your curveball? Okay. Uh, if you keep just throwing fastballs, 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 right, you're going to eventually get one knocked out of the park. So for us, we use multiple different forms of curveballs, whether that's a slide or a curve, whatever it may be. If you're a baseball person, throw all different names, right? This is where we get to the good stuff. Okay. Our sweeps, okay, are built off of our counter scheme. Okay. So now this looks like counter. This smells like counter for the line. Everyone is blocking counter. And now for teams that we know are going to go into a game plan and hard squeeze or hard pup down to spill that counter play, uh, we want to take the ball east and west now. So we still call it our counter sweep. You see our first pull is going to come around. He's going to assess the defensive end. If he has the opportunity to bypass, he's going to bypass and gain the extra hat up in the alley. And now instead of pulling around for the plate side backer, we're going to take the ball now from the C and D gap and have our second puller come around with the ball on the edge. And now you've got a huge explosive run, touchdown. And, and when you think it can't happen, I mean, these defensive ends, they've been fitting it all day long. You tell, right? Fit counter, come down in there, take the air out of this thing, make the ball spill, we'll run the extra gaps, and now we gain the extra hat. Phenomenal job here by the first puller, reading around it, great job by the second puller. For our quarterback and running back, we're just going to use near foot, far foot footwork, okay, and take a lateral path. All right, here's another uh, formation here. You see the short motion that looked exactly like the initial counter play that we just showed earlier. So we're going to bring him in. We're going to make him think counter. Look at this defensive end up top, right? Not only is he squeezing down, he's squeezing down behind the line of scrimmage. So you can tell right here, this team, okay, has spent all week long trying to stop counter. All right, we've got to top, stop their number one play. And now the ball enters in a different, in a different hole. And so throwing those curveballs, why? Because we're going to come back to the fastball. But if we can slow them down from playing the fastball, right, we can take advantage of it, right? So once again, uh, great job by our guard, okay, pulling on around. He, now here you see he made the decision not to bypass. But if he actually bypasses, he'll have an opportunity to get his hat on the outside of the play side backer. And now the, the tight end knows if the guard takes the play side backer, he's going to plus one in the alley. Now we'll have a hat for everyone. So you can see right there the difference in those two plays. And, both positive plays, but it's at the discretion of the uh, of the first puller. Um, here is one that was a negative play, right? This is a TFL. I didn't just put all the good plays. Um, but uh, right here, obviously, defensive end, he squeezes on down. He obviously IDs, and now it's more of a perimeter-type play. All right, and now we need we want a little bit faster distribution between our second puller to kind of pull around uh, and kind of bypass his guard. But if he has a chance uh, to bypass him, he will. He sticks on him here. We don't get our second puller on around, right? They give up some vertical penetration. Vertical penetration uh, is what kills these plays. And so uh, you can see a good look here of our curveball, obviously uh, not going as planned. And that's where your TFLs and, and um, negative plays are going to come from, okay? Um, here, I just put this one on here. This was a funky little uh, two-point play that we had some fun off of it. Same scheme, same counter scheme. So right now we're going to shuffle uh, the quarterback and running back switch their positions actually snap the ball to the running back who's now going to end up handing the ball to the to the uh to the quarterback who's going to pitch it to the receiver coming around and it's just our, our normal counter sweep now we're in an unbalanced formation so both guys up top are on the ball both guys on the boundary are off the ball why okay to throw those tendencies off right give an unbalanced formation for someone to adjust hand the ball to the quarterback pitch the ball to the running back on the around Right, and it's just still a counter sweep type play. So same perimeter sweep for the tight end. It's doing all the exact same rules and responsibilities. We just actually gain a hat here um, by allowing the running back to fit up in the alley. So that's a that's a cool little switch up. Uh, here is a counter sweep from pistol. You can say, well, coach, I'm a I'm an under center type team, okay? Um, but there's different ways to get to a counter sweep, right? You don't always have to be in gun, okay? Here's a counter sweep from pistol. Uh, where we're going to bring the ball back to the back, and it's more of a counter bounce, right? Now we're going in there, you know, MDM, uh, crack block the down safety, all right? And now if our, our, our guard here at this point, okay, this was a couple years back, um, we weren't bypassing the end. I wish I would have told myself then 
to bypass the end because right here we bypass the defensive end here number 20. This ball is going to bounce. We're going to have a hat for everybody out on the perimeter all right, and working that off a of counter bounce. And so you can see right here just kind of the evolution of understanding when the end is obviously squeezing down low and tight in there. You know, we no need to waste a, a, a body on a guy that's, that's wrong shoulder right there. 20 wouldn't make the play at all. Uh, so right here, if, if 58 has the opportunity to bypass, he's now going to gain the extra hat and you'll have a ball running right up the sideline. So really good way to, to throw your curve balls in there off your counter gap scheme. Same thing. Here's another good look at it again. Once again, you see the defensive end. He squeezes himself, right? The ball's going to bounce. It's built to bounce. We call it our counter bounce. All right, now we can have a hat for everyone, including the post safety uh, running out of the alley. So uh, once again, taking advantage of a similar type formation, okay, and tendencies with our curve balls, okay?